So I'm currently driving around London doing our electric produce deliveries, which we do from Monday to Friday each week. How we select the foods that we choose to deliver is based upon foods that are bioavailable. Bioavailable meaning that it's easy for your body to uptake nutrients from those particular foods. And our focus when we deliver these fruit packages and our electric foods is to give people a break from consuming toxic foods that are difficult for the body to break down, digest and utilize for energy. Yeah, you good? Just look, I mean, you can look at me. Yeah, I think that way it's cool. Yeah, look at me. All right, cool, man. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, hi, my name's uh, Ben, and we've been uh, running uh, and operating our business for seven years. We started our first store um, on Brick Lane. The key principles surrounding everything that we do was all about. Uh, sourcing and finding the best quality ingredients possible and uh, maintaining a process uh, with the food production that was based around the understanding of uh, making the f or keeping the food bioavailable and producing food in a way that the people that consume that food will get as much benefits from that food as possible. You know, just seeing, being around street food, um, there was I looked at the practices of most of these street food vendors. A lot of it was long life, low grade cooking oil uh, laced with silicon. Um, a lot of it was in non-stick pans. A lot of it was with uh, low grade uh, salt. A lot of it was with uh, things like MSG, uh, preservatives. A lot of things coming out of cans, tins, uh, sauce jars with a prolonged shelf life and I think we found ourselves through being given the opportunity to provide people with a service that would give them a break from all of the mad stuff that was around, you know? So again, it was like starting with the coconut water. The moment you come and get a coconut from us, you, you, you get a break for your kidneys, you know, from consuming coffee or from consuming a hot chocolate or sugar or even normal bottled water. Every stage of the process of producing our food might be more labour intensive. So we produce all of our own sources in house. You know, our choice with regard to the oil that we use is uh, oil that is has a very high boiling point. So again, it doesn't denature the food. All of these are byproducts of good intentions. So all of these choices are byproducts of good intentions in the food. Because if we didn't have good intentions, we wouldn't go through the effort of actually producing everything from scratch by hand in a way that we're sourcing and using the best ingredients possible. When I work with certain ingredients or when I work with, you know, making a certain product and stuff, there is a certain love that goes into it, a love that comes from it or energy that comes from it that lets me, lets me personally feel happy with what I'm doing and for, for you to be able to pass that on to other people as well. It's, it's, it's extremely rewarding because it's one of them things where it's like, just the simple fact of working with bioavailable food, that, that there, when you're on the journey of when you've been awakened to, you know, wanting to eat and ingest healthier products and stuff, to be able to share that with people as well, there's a certain art of love right there. There's a, um, or a way, another way of looking at a certain sunlight, there's blessings that come from that. But me personally, this is an environment that's definitely helped me to find my love in what I'm doing, but not just that, to be able to pass that love and energy on because people feed off of that. When they feed off of that, that just lets us not know that, you know, we're doing something right. It's very important because, you know, there's that cliche, how you do anything is how you do everything. Um, it's all about integrity because if if you try to pull the war over people, they will figure it out eventually. People can see who's genuine, what's really real, and the thing is, when we're when we're doing such a good uh, business anyway, and what we're offering, it's it's kind of self-evident. You don't need to you don't need to convince someone something is good if it's good. When I get feedback from customers and just seeing their smiles, it just makes me feel so good that they're really 
really enjoying it, genuinely enjoying their meal. And when I see a returning customer, it's just, it's just joy. It's just good vibes. When, if you represent something, um, you got to be it, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, what you do in the background or in private will always come to the surface. It will always, it doesn't matter how you, it will, it will spill its way out, you know? So um, main, make, making sure I had a, an optimal, a, high, a diet based around high performance, the foundation tool was fasting, so that I give my body a rest from any pollutants in the environment, in the foods, and I help my body to re uh, repair and rebuild itself. Um, and practicing gratitude, making sure that, you know, a number of times every day, I am mindful of the fact that this is bigger than me. I believe if you're a strong or a strong-willed person or character, the only reason you have that strength is to serve others that might not have that, that, that the, the, the strength, you know. We're here to serve the more vulnerable members of our community. Most people are in a perpetual toxic cycle with overprocessed, that means overcooked, dehydrated foods, non-soaked grains, which are full of anti-nutrients, oxalates, the microscopic needles of penetrate your guts over time for eating greens and stuff like this. It's about how you eat them and what you do to counteract their effects that they are not going to stop doing because it's about their survival. They don't want you to eat them. So the grains want to give you anti-nutrients, especially on a micro level, so you can't feed the brain any minerals and make you consequences that you eventually get stupid. Do you know what I mean? And you can't get vitamins and minerals into the bloodstream. So, constant cycle of that. That's just by eating what we call organic food. But then the cycle of sugars, acidic body, through drinks and, and indirectly through high starches, but then gets turned into blood glucose. And all this, this perpetual draining, because in that process of turning sugar into glucose takes all the B vitamins from your body. They need aid. But in aiding that type of digestive habit, you've taken away the vitamins that control your emotions and help you be more balanced and happy. So, our attention to detail is based around soaking our grains, making sure that they, they're organic so there's less pesticides going into the customer. Um, we don't use tap water, we use mineral water, spring water to prepare your food. And then there's the attitude of the workers, the attention to detail that people most times don't see a smiling face and don't have an open ear. So we pay attention to detail with that. So when you come into the space of us, you have to understand that your vicious cycle has been broken. It's been broken by the attitude of people that work here. And it's been broken by the careful preparation of your food to take as much contaminants out of it and anti-nutrients out of it as possible so it's bioavailable. So whatever two or, two or three hours you're taking to digest, you're still smelling of the essence of this company. It's based upon a thing called the Mach seller, which is somebody is selling perfume, you sit next to that perfume, person, and when you walk away, you're still smelling of the essence of being in that area. And that's what we try to do by practicing Ikika, which is attention to detail to make sure we give you a break from the toxic cycle <clears throat> that people put you through out of their obsession with profit margins. Oof.
Flavors! <laughs> 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 now what are we talking about? Apple okay. pie roll. I'm gonna try it. Never tried this before. Oh, Father God. Really good. It's very, really, really good. That's great. Yeah. TT. <laughs> that is nice.